skinny, bony, sissy, curly. I've been called all kinds of degrading names, but these are just words. What I really, really went through inside was hell. That same depressing feeling of inadequacy, that constant unrelenting feeling that people were always laughing. My skinny, curly, pathetic arms, my poor bony ribs, flat, hollow chest, my kid-sized t-shirts. My friends constantly teasing me was one thing. When girls, hot girls, openly ridiculed me for my puny size, made me very, very angry, very pathetic, like less of a man. It wasn't like I wasn't trying. Butter, cheese, pizzas, oil, oil. I tried to stuff myself with all kinds of fattening foods. My skinny body ain't stubborn as ever. Why can't I just have some mass, a little fullness, some thickness? I wouldn't feel so inadequate. My freaking backbone wouldn't poke the damn bed and hurt me when I sleep. So I could look a little more mature, adult, like an actual grown man. And then one day, something happened. I accidentally stumbled upon these incredible 90-day skinny to ribbed transformations. Almost everybody's before picture looked exactly like me. I couldn't believe it. What a fool I'd been, I thought, wasting my time on all those stupid, idiotic, fattening foods. When the answer was right in front of me, I got really, really excited. All you really needed was a pair of dumbbells, the side said. So I bought a pair of two and a half kilo dumbbells, announced to my best friend that within three months, all the hottest girls would be crushing on me. He laughed. But after about a month, I got bored of the light dumbbells and decided to go to an actual gym, fancy commercial gym. The big trainer promised me to take me from 45 to 65 kilos in four months. I was overjoyed. After six months of following their exact workout and diet program, I looked like nothing. Till those skinny, curly arms, still that flat, hollow, baby chest, still those bony backbones jutting out and hurting me when anyone slapped me on my back. Till those kid-sized sissy t-shirts. My friend calls me up. Dude, where is the new muscular Akshay? It's been more than three months. Why haven't you updated your profile yet? Where are all the hot girls? Your room now? Wait another four months, you asshole. I said, I'll show you. Now I decided to upgrade. Go to the big beefy online gurus, whey protein, creatine, compound mass building exercises because of an ectomorph. Bought $97 and after 97 mass building programs. After one year, nothing. Still those skinny, bony arms, still that baby face, still that hollow chest. I didn't get it. I was doing everything these big muscular online gurus were telling me eating big, lifting big, taking all the right supplements, buying and following all their best programs. Then where was my 90 day skinny to rib transformation? Why was I still struggling? Pesky friend calls up again. Dude, it's been more than a year. Why haven't you changed your profile big yet? And what about the hot girls? Just wait another four months, you idiot, I said. This time he's like, you know what? Very soon one day you're going to be this 40 year old old man married to some ugly ass girl having little children and these kids are going to point and laugh at you. Why? Because they already fill out bigger t-shirts than you. Kids, just wait another four months and I'll show you. The bastard. But what if he was right? What if I never ever transformed? I mean, was this lifestyle really worth it? I'd stopped hanging out with my friends. I was eating all the freaking time. And when I wasn't eating, I was downing weight gainers like crazy. Bloating, gas pains, soreness, and zero mass. This was my life. I was about to give up. It was getting freaking irritating. Then one day, I read something. Something that made me very angry. Showed me what a big fool I'd been. Scientific proof that these big beefy idiots I was copying had really had no clue how to build muscle. That they could build mass no matter what nonsense they did in the gym. Just came naturally to them. Me copying their workouts. Learning how to do a slam dunk from a 7 feet 6 inch guy. I had to stop listening to them. Stop buying their idiotic programs. Threw away all their BS supplements. Stopped stuffing myself. Stopped eating big or lifting big. I decided to play by a different set of rules. I realized that for me, it was not about heavy compound exercises, but actually learning how to hit the muscles. No hour long boring bodybuilding workout. And soon with my new found secret techniques, my body little by little finally started to transform. Here goes.
I've got a free report that reveals the exact five step formula I used to make this transformation. Just click on the link here and I'll immediately send you your free report right now.